have a long, you know, <laughs> hang out. <laughs> uh, the kids have been good. Yeah. If you were wanting to identify the uh, two or three key teachings then of SGI, mm -hmm. what would you say they were? Well, the first thing would be that Nichiren Buddhists believe that we can transform any suffering, that karma or destiny can be transformed. transformed. Um, and that Buddhahood um, or that innate potential um, for authentic happiness is, can, be, can be manifested in the here and now. So happiness is something that is not only a virtue but is, a, is something we strive for mm -hmm. and has religious value and in this, this life, not just in some future life. Exactly. You know, for me, I think the roots of our happiness is what is our determination and, you know, Buddhism teaches that causes are what we think, what we do and what we say. So what, what is it we are, we are doing to, to create such a happy life, you know, to transform our lives? So that, that was what um, spoke to me. As Nichiren Buddhists, we emphasize the process of inner transformation or what we call human revolution. Right. And it's really the process of actually removing um, the negative functions of our minds and revealing instead the sort of innate qualities of Buddhahood like compassion and wisdom. And there's a sense in which uh, experiencing that transformation on an, on an individual basis affects other people as well. Exactly. As long as we uphold the mystic law throughout our lives, we can break through any impasse and surmount any obstacle. We will also be able to lead all those who are suffering into happiness. The other key um, thing that Buddhist philosophy teaches is that we're all connected to the universe. Our individual selves is one with the entire universe. So um, through this concept of the oneness with the universe, when we transform the, the delusions that we hold in our lives, like for example, anger, which is the cause of war um, or disbelief or disrespect for self, which is, we believe is the cause for physical and mental illnesses. When we transform all those negative um, functions of our life into um, wisdom, compassion, um, appreciation, then we're able to actually effect change in society as a whole. So for us, Nichiren Buddhists believe that, you know, that um, issues in society like war and violence could be the, the solutions for them really lie in the hearts of people. We get together once a month to chant for world peace. I guess it, it needs to be asked whether, you know, in the light of the wars that are all over the world, that feels like a, a, a real possibility. We chant for world peace, but let's, let's also, first of all, confront our daily reality and address those issues which make us unhappy in our daily reality. And as we do that, as we transform um, the destructive or negative tendencies that give rise to suffering in our lives, that has a real impact not only on our lives but on the lives of our family, our community and the people around us. So that um, it's, all, it's all bound up, it's all connected. <laughs> There's a oneness between self and other, that your happiness is also part of my happiness, that your suffering is also part of my suffering. Um, so that's a sense of that greater self. Yeah. Mm. So in terms of Nichiren Buddhism, when I die, what happens to my, this self? What permeates everything is this thing that we call the mystic law, or Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and it is the essence of life itself. In fact, someone said that Bo the Buddha is life itself. Mm -hmm. And when we die, that aspect of our lives merge back into the greater life of the universe. I guess you can look at it as the sea mm. and that 
our manifestation, our own individual sort of existence are like the, the waves, waves cresting. Mm. And when we die, we merge back into the sea. And what we take with us as well as the imprint of everything that we've done, said, or thought. I guess in a nutshell, Buddhism believes that life is eternal, that it doesn't simply end when we pass on. And that we go through the process of rebirth, um, sickness, old age, and decline, you know, over and over again. It's just part of the cycle of, of life. Tell me, uh, something Westerners sometimes struggle with about Buddhism is whether or not Buddhists believe in God. Well, it depends on what you mean right. by God. Yeah. Um, we don't believe in an external creator God, yeah. God or an external deity. But we certainly do believe in um, that fundamental law that governs all life. The mystic law, we call it. Mm. A compassionate life of the universe. Um, but we're very much in control. So when we pray, um, we are not beseeching um, an external deity for help. Um, we determine the cause of our own life. Okay. Mm. So the word God is, is not especially helpful in this context? No, not, not in a very um, sort of monotheistic yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Justin, you've been working for months now in wanting to set up this Culture of Peace exhibition. Tell me why that's so important for you. The first two precedents of the Soka Gakkai in Japan in the, you know, in the 1930s, they were jailed um, as thought criminals for the opposition to the Japanese military's attack on China. So they opposed World War II. And the third president, um, Daisaku Ikeda, who's my Buddhist mentor, has made it his life purpose to spread um, a global culture of peace. So standing up for peace, standing up for um, and promoting the um, idea for um, the dignity of human life globally has been um, part of the founding spirit, I guess, of SGI and SGI members. So this exhibition is an extension of that. So um, we have a lot of um, artists and performers, you know, who practice Nichiren Buddhism. But essentially we encourage all members to really be, you know, just true to themselves and express themselves. What will be your role at the opening of the exhibition? Well, really, I am. Um, I've organised the events themselves, and I'm really there to play host to Ambassador Anwarul Chowdhury, and he's a UN diplomat. Um, in fact, until June of this year, he was the United Nations Under Secretary General, and um, he is someone that we have collaborated with in order to develop. Um, the exhibition. He's someone, in fact, that um, SGI internationally have been.